Oops, see, this is why you gotta check everything. Look at this. All right. Oh, look. So here we are once again back at this $360 absolute gold mine. We found everything you can want in a unit. You know what? There's more in the back. I just know it. Let's get back into it. First box of the new day. What do you think we're gonna have today? More collectibles. What kind of? <laughs> what kind uh, of collectibles? That's a very no. broad word. Stop asking me questions. Why? Ask them questions. Oh, look at that. Hey, First cool. thing you see is Coca. Well, this is sealed. So check that out. This Coca-Cola tin, metal tin. What kind of case do we have here? Um, you know, revolver, right? <laughs> and that's probably tools. It looks like a wrench and socket wrench set. One fell out, but it's okay. That's still good. What? What is this? The mystery box. What is this? I have no idea what that is. Looks like some futuristic alien technology. Smithsonian. Yeah, it's from the Smithsonian. All right. Let's see. What does that say? In germ blast. All right. The lunch box. It's like a husky tool thing. Brand new. See, look at that. Nice. Brand new with tags. And then we got another one of these germ blast things. These are also all brand new so far. Weird. CDs maybe or wrench set? Wrench set, I think. Yeah, kinda. It's a little tool set, flashlight, screwdriver, pliers, drill bit looking things. All right, this box looks like it's gonna have quite a tool lot in it. Flashlight, a mallet in case you act up. Me? Yeah, yeah. Why'd you do that? Uh, camp towels. What's this big boy here? It's like one of those storage flashlights, right? So yeah. you can do the dance at the door. And other than that, I'm seeing hammers and just a bunch of tools. So I just pulled this little box down from up here and listen. Sounds like silverware. You know what I said last time, right? I'm telling you, it's in this unit. This is the kind of unit you'll find those vintage sterling things in. Oh, it's definitely silverware. But let's see if it's anything good. Uh, it doesn't look like it has the right tone to it or the right color to it. It has patterns on it, but nothing's marked there. Find a fork. And now uh, this is unmarked stuff. So, but hold on, look at this. That's the kind of fancy pattern you would expect to find on silver, but it's unmarked. Uh, I'm not gonna reach in there because it looks like a bunch of knives. But I don't think it's gonna be a silver set, unfortunately. Let me pull out a couple more pieces just to be sure. More knives. Yeah, unfortunately, that's just regular silverware. It says Onida, O N E I D A. I'm guessing that's just the brand, so no sterling in that box. Got the next one out of the unit. There's so many boxes still in there. What do you think the next one? More collectibles? Yes. You know what's weird? Last night when we went home, I was doing a lot of research on all the gnomes and their prices are such a variation. Like I see some for four to seven dollars and some for 300 plus. So I'm like, ooh. No idea which ones we got. Uh, chopped onion. Chopped onions. This is kitchen stuff. This is like shortbread stuff. And yeah, this is, like I said, with the other Tupperware stuff, this is put it out of the yard sale and literally whatever you offer for me, Please take it and get it away so I don't throw it away. Next box right here. Come on. Let's see what this one got in it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see what it got. It's got. It makes it sound funny, all right? What's it got in it? Sound like a mob boss from a cartoon. So, close. But let's check the brand on one of these. Greg Norman. I swear I never understand clothes brands. Not like I won't understand. It's just that I never learned them all. Every time I think I'm good, I find a new one. Short make sure we don't see nothing hidden under the clothes because other boxes they were using clothes for padding for collectible stuff but this one yeah this box is all real clothes so i had to move a few things to get to the rest of the boxes but check out some of the stuff we just pulled out one like probably three foot i guess tall nutcracker one lamp that we found i'm pretty sure we found a sh couple shades the other day so this lamp this lamp again probably where the shade goes to this other, again, three foot tall or so, nutcracker. And then these bags also fell out, which they look like they're like stitched quilts in them. A yellow one, a brown one, and then a blue and white one. So I think three total stitched quilts there, along with the big furniture stuff. But now you can kind of see, look how many more boxes are still in this unit. 
Look at the back. It's nothing but boxes. Probably 20 more. Let's pull out this big one. So I just got down the big, big, tall box. The biggest box we've found in the unit so far. And let's see what's inside of it. They put multiple lines of tape on it, so cut all this off. It looks like it's gonna be closed, though. It felt like clothes, maybe blankets, things like that. Always one box of blankets, always. And no other stuff under it. Ah, Quite whoa. a bit of stuff. Is that a big gnome? Oh, yes. All right, hold on. Let's put this blanket out the way. I was about to say it's closed. Whoa. Look at this guy. Is, is it done by the same guy? I don't see. So apparently the guy's name is something Clark. I looked it up on eBay the other day, and like I said, the prices are just so various. Like literally $7. $380 buried. So we don't know which one that is. Um, we got this, whatever that is, some decorative thing. Apples to apples. I'm scared I'm gonna break that. Check this out first. Nice. Pack of Coca Cola car Hot Wheels for, or actually Matchbox, yeah. not Hot Wheels. They paid five bucks back, who knows when. These are from 99, so not as old as I thought. Still 22 years old now. Uh, what else do we got? Lantern. Let's get that out the way. Sorry about the mess, but we live here. Mm -hmm. True. That's what people always see it. it has gotta be super clean, right? Not necessarily. Ooh, I see Coke tray. What is this? Oh, let's see. Oh. Check that out. It's like a little Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. like 50s diner thing with the jukebox. That's you can cool. tell. So look at the prices on there. 75 cents, 40 cents, mm -hmm. 50 cents. Steak plate for 50 cents. Wow. That's pretty cool. I want to live back in these times. Yeah, but then you only make like $2 <laughs> a day. Inflation. Not, well, I'm not saying just because of the money, but just the, how the times were. Yeah. Cool. Look at this. So Coca-Cola tray here. First one. This one's from 1993, it says. A year before the year of the legend. And this one here is <laughs> <laughs> from 1992. So Santa one and polar bear one. You know, Look I legit. That, 92 is before the legend. No, that's two years before. I'm getting the math wrong. <clears throat> I can't win. I thought this box was gonna be all closed. I'm like very happy about this. Ooh, check that out. A KR5 Rico, Rico, KR5 camera, and like maybe this is the bag it comes in. I don't know, there's a lens cap in it, and that's all that's in this part, but there's some zippers on the sides here. Oh look, it's got an extra lens with it, and it's capped. Most people don't do that, because I don't know why. Then we have, that's like a light that goes on top of it to flash for your shots, but pretty much the whole camera set there. Yahtzee, apples to apples. Hold on. Is that what's in here? It's like a special edition. All right. Special edition or older? I don't know. Maybe, how I don't know. I mean, that's an OG Yahtzee box. So, Yahtzee and apples to apples. What's this Coca Cola thing? Cause something about collectors. Okay. Oh, cool. That. Oh. We just have some Christmas lights. Oh, look at this old Barbie here. Let's set this over here. Uh, what year is this Barbie from? I don't see it anywhere. Why don't they put that on a box? Oh, here it is, 1996. Do. So, not that old again, but still, full find, definitely. Then we got more Christmas lights. Let's see a McDonald's toy. Coca-Cola, probably. Oh, no, the seahorse. Maybe. All right. Bag. This is like a Christmas star on top of the tree. Let's see what's in these bigger boxes here. The bunny couple. Uh, a bunny couple. That's kind of cool. And then the biggest of the boxes is this big giant red one here. Whoa. Let's see what that is. Look, Waterford. They're expensive. They make like crystal stuff. They're expensive. Uh, let's see if I can pull the styrofoam off without breaking it up. Uh, come here. Come here. There it is. So look at that. It's like Santa Claus in his sleigh and everything. Uh, MSRP over here is a hundred bucks. So not bad, they paid 50 at a flea market it looks like, something like that. So that's a cool find too. I don't know, I've never seen their ornaments. I know their crystal glasses can go for money. So let's hope that will too. And other than that, 
I think that's all that's in this big box. Before I show you the next thing we found, guys, let's make 2021 the best, guys. Take half a second, leave the video a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe if you're new because we do this all the time, so you don't want to miss out. But check out some of these frames we found. First one, super nice painting here, still in there. Paintings, again, are one of those things. One's $2 from Goodwill, one's $100,000, and you have no idea. That one. So check this out right here. This is actually a Coca-Cola glass. I thought this was a mirror at first when I saw it, but it's not. So it's got the pieces missing the batteries, a little beat up on the back, but still Coca-Cola clock. And maybe you can put a picture in there. Maybe. Maybe there's something that went in there originally that's not in there now. I don't know. This picture of Jesus that I feel like everybody knows like a grandparent or family member that has in their house somewhere. It's like one of the most well-known pictures out there. That one. And we got this. And probably the coolest thing is under here. Check this out right here. So these are like pins, Coca-Cola pins from a bunch of the Super Bowls. From Super Bowl one to Super Bowl 38 maybe. I think that's what it says. No, Super Bowl 20, sorry, one through 20. Now the thing that's gonna be what these are, are these reproductions or originals. If these are original Super Bowl pins, this could be a mother load, but Definitely gonna have to talk to some sports memorabilia people to let us know if these are OGs or if they're replicas. So either which way though, they're definitely super cool to see. Let's take this little plastic tub out. I mean, you can see like little colorful things in it, but let's see what those things are. Ah, uh, looks like Christmas ornaments, doesn't it? Yeah. Here's like a crystal thingy, but overall, I don't think there's gonna be nothing collectible in here. This just looks like their actual stuff they put up, not collector items. So let's just put that back together. This box is like, Weirdly light. Let's see what's in there. Cut it open real quick. Open. All right. And let's see what it is. I'll put it down here. That's needed to open it. And then these are more nutcrackers. It looks like. Looks like it. Yep. Definitely a nutcracker. Let's see. Does he have a date on him? No, but they pay twenty bucks for him. So that. Is this another one? Yeah, let's just see what this guy looks like. Oh look, it's a Home Depot one. <laughs> they make nutcrackers for everything, don't they? Yeah. Alright, let's pull out one of these. I think that was just around something. Like three vases in here. Yeah, let's see what those are. Or are they vases? Ah, get the bubble wrap off it. Whoa. Mm, maybe look at not. that red <laughs> color. I don't know what it is, it's super cool. So maybe put a candle in? Yeah, it? definitely for a candle. But I wonder if it's some special kind of glass because it's got that red tint to it. Or if it's just red, regular glass. I don't know. Let's pull out the other one. Is that the same type of thing? Yeah, it is. So it's probably that big one and two smaller ones are the same thing. You put candles in them. It's a little set. And other than that, we just have these two little metal pieces. Let's see what's in this one. It says jackets in it, but that don't mean they can't be good brand ones or it could just be metal. Never know. Let's see what's in this one. Cut tape, cut, 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 and cut, 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 all you cut. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, so it does look like it's actually going to be closed. So did the other box. So let's see if there's anything hidden at the bottom of it. No. This one's actually, yep, closed all the way down. So we're just going to close that one back up. This one's got a lot of weight to it. It says, ooh, kitchen crystal. Ooh, mm, crystal. Let's see what's in it. Let's see if that's actually right or if it's BS. Ah, oh, spider. Kill it. Okay, I chopped him in half. <sighs> he had to go. He had to go. Let's see what's in here now. Another tape. Oh, wow. Look how nice of this stuff to wrap. It's so nicely stored. So let's just open a few of these and get the brand on them and see what we got here. Check that out. <laughs> mm. So there's one, but it doesn't have a brand name on it. So I don't really know what it is. Put them back in here. I'll pull out one from over here. Let's see if it looks the same. Let's see. Yeah, get down. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a set. They all have this exact same pattern, I bet you. And it's going to be a huge set. Look how many are in here. And look at the height of this box from the outside. I bet you that's 
50 crystal pieces in there. Easy, even at a couple bucks a piece. That's a $100 box, easy. So we'll just pull out these two smaller boxes. Let's see what's in these guys. Something wrapped in a blanket, I'm assuming. So this first, what is this? Be still and know that I am God. All right. In this, oh, a few pictures in there. Don't look, uh, this is gonna be all personal pictures, which we'll just go ahead. This blanket might have some type of meaning to them, so. We'll just go ahead and put this with the personal stuff that's going back. And let's see what's in this thing. It says, okay, it says Christmas Reef, and then it says Cat Tree. Let's see what's in it. Let's hope it's, I'd rather have a Cat Tree than a Christmas Reef. Yeah. <laughs> let's see which one we get. Ah, if I can get it open. It's actually neither, it's Christmas Balls. Yeah, okay, there is a reef in there. It's a Christmas reef with a few Christmas balls in it, so just Christmas decorations. So just went through a bunch more frames to get all the personal ones out the way, but we also found this thing of the Last Supper, which is pretty cool. It's like 3D off of this. It's got this thing on the back of it. So it says Copper Craft. So maybe we'll add it to our freaking, it doesn't feel like copper <laughs> though. If it's copper, it's really thin. It feels more like plastic, oh, it's copper color. Yeah, maybe it's just copper color, that's my guess. And then this one was blank, but cool little family frame. And then we got this one with another religious one, Prayer of Habaz or Jabaz, which has, you know, prayer, nice little mountainous view with the guy on top of it. Cool little pieces. So this box, it says winter jackets on it. So some of those can get pricey, eased very quickly, especially if they're buying brand names like North Face and things like that. They add up very fast, super tape. And, oh yeah, see, this is what I like to wear out in my winter. This is a very warm coat right here. Looks like a pillow to me, but whatever. What is this? Is this just pillows all the way down? Uh, it looks, no, there might be some stuff at the bottom here. Like I see a purse strap. Ooh, what is the brand is this? What is that? Where's the, let's open it up. It's Gianni Bernini. It's like brand new though. Hmm. Huh, okay, so maybe we should pull these pillows out and see what's underneath of them. Pillows, pillows, pillows. Oh yeah, I see some, ew, oh, oh gosh. As a New York Giants fan, we haven't had much to cheer about lately, but this is still disgusting. But you know, mm -hmm. still money. What else is in here? Yeah, here comes the actual winter coat. So they didn't lie completely. What brand are they? It says basic editions, nothing I've heard of. And this one, another purse. All right, is that initial to hope? Yeah. So, it's brand new though, it sucks. No, it's got this in it, what is that? Come here. Ooh, look, Happy Holiday from Ruby Tuesday. You think it's got any money <laughs> on it? I don't know, half of Ruby Tuesdays are closed down. I know, now. and a subway card in there as well. All right, huh. we gotta check it. Yeah, pocket. I'm putting this in my pocket. Let's see, I'm seeing some actual coats. Some, it looks maybe leather. I don't know. Let's see what else. Coats. Ooh, I see a leather one. It looks leather at least. What brand is that guy? Hold'em Poker. <laughs> okay, I didn't know they made jackets. So a poker leather jacket. That's definitely a first for me. And yeah, I see weatherproof jackets. And just a couple other winter coats in there. Uh, make sure this is not a good brand. Columbia, decent brands. I mean, nothing like overly priced, but good po seller for Poshmark. So just pulled down this green bag off the top of some boxes. I see the Ralph Lauren logo on it, so it's a bag. And the bag itself looks like it has shoes in it. So let's see what we got. Some Croc slides, flip-flops. I hate Crocs. I see Nike though. These look old, don't they? They look like golf shoes. Maybe they're golf shoes, I don't know. But they're old, maybe old Nike. Um, let's see. Oops, see, this is why you gotta check everything. Look at this. The Star Wars Trilogy VHS pack is also in there, which is um, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, and A New Hope. So we have that. Whoa, what's in here? Ew. Toothbrushes and toothpaste and stuff like that. Never want to touch some of this stuff like that. What are these? Lifestyle brands? Doesn't tell me the brand on them. Skechers. They're kind of ugly. Um, what's this, like medical stuff? Yeah, it looks like pain a nicotine. Patches. Oh, pain. I don't know if they're nicotine or pain patches. See more shoes in here. What's that? These were 
golf balls at some point, I'm assuming. Looks like a golf ball box. Yeah, look. Golf balls. And other than that, nothing else. Why do they keep the empty box? Just make sure there's nothing in there. No? Just kind of strange to keep the box. Other than that, just some dirty shoes in that bag. So I just pulled out these three smaller boxes here. I'm gonna set it like this and try to see what we got inside of them. That sounds interesting. What do you think that is? What do you think's in this one? It says Newport, so maybe something to do with cigarettes. I don't know. Are there more things? Okay. Seashells. Look at that. Some nice ones too. Sand dollar. These are like the ones you always look for, which you can never actually find. But for some reason, every gift shop has a million, but you can never actually find it. These are the ones you buy as a kid that you're like, I can hear the ocean. Mm -hmm. You just hear the air circulating through it. But that's kind of cool. Look at this. It's a fish made out of seashells. That's pretty interesting. So this unit is, we're like 15 minutes away from the beach. So it's not surprising we're finding a lot of boat stuff and things like that. Let me put this right over here. So it's out of the way. Ugh. Let's see what's in this pink box. Cause I don't think it has the right way to be the shoes it says, but we'll see if we can get it open. They put a piece of tape on every single side, every single side. All right. Oh, look. Oh, They're like m and nutcrackers. m and nutcrackers. That's pretty cool. They have a date on them. They can't be that new. I don't see a date. But there's the red m and and the blue m and in here. Look at that. Just everything you could think of collector-wise has been in this unit so far. It's just cool. It's so cool. Let's get this box over here now. Yeah, let's see what's in the medium flat rate long. Is it stuck, actually? Yep. All right, let's get it open. You can tell this is an older USPS box because it still like has most of its shape and has not been beat to death. <laughs> so you know it's not sent recently. What is this? Hmm. Is this like a, just a stitched quilt? Yeah, some kind of blanket. Yeah, it's just like a real stitched together blanket quilt type thing. That's all that's in there? Yeah, that's all that's in there, but this thing's kind of heavy, so it probably would have cost a lot to ship if you didn't have a flat rate. But some stitch stuff like that could be worth a lot of money. It's just hard for somebody like me because I have no idea what I'm looking at. So if you guys know something about this, definitely let us know. See, look what's still in there. Like usually the way people have been paying, they would have paid 360 or 400 just for this. That's why I'm still blown away we've got for such a cheap price. But I just pulled this out of the corner. Let's see what's in this prodigy bag, but the front ripped to death, so the bag itself not really worth much. And it looks like it might actually be clothes. Ooh, though. That looks like it could be fancy. Ellen Tracy? Maybe that's a fancy brand. Um, that thing. Here's another jacket. Which one is this? Oh, and this one's Kristen Blake. There's like a million brand names for clothes, and it's just people's names. How are you supposed to know them all or remember <laughs> them all? It's just too much. But other than that, that's all in a suitcase. Let's get the next box. Next video, make sure you subscribe and come back. Bye.